As the king prepares for the biggest day of his life, next month's coronation will also be a defining moment for Camilla, who after nearly three decades has rehabilitated her image from the hated other woman to queen. But this remarkable moment was not always at the forefront of her mind, according to one of her closest confidants, Lady Lansdowne, who revealed for the first time personal stories from Camilla's life in an unprecedented interview. She said at the weekend it was never any sort of plan. It would make her laugh just to think of it. It was quite daunting, but nothing she couldn't cope with. However, the momentous event has thrown renewed scrutiny on both Camilla and the royal family as a whole. Despite the king taking drastic steps to cut spending and improve public perception, a YouGov poll revealed yesterday that 51% of the British public disapproves of taxpayers funding the coronation. Meanwhile, over a thousand Republican protesters have promised they'll chant not my king during the coronation parade, while Camilla has avoided using a crown with a controversial diamond to avoid controversy. Joining me now, the Daily Mail's Robert Hardman, author of the book Queen of Our Times, which is out in paperback tomorrow. So, Robert, look, it's been an extraordinary seven months, hasn't it, when mm. we think it was so soon that the country came together on a grand scale to celebrate the life of Queen Elizabeth II. Are you sensing that there's public excitement? Because there's been a few whispers that maybe we're a little bit concerned that the route is shorter, the public isn't as uh, exhilarated as maybe Buckingham Palace hoped they would be at this point. Well, I, I, I think Dan, part of the problem is that, that everybody sees this coronation through the prism of the last mm. one. And it's quite interesting looking at the planning for the last one. They were all looking back at 1937 when George VI was crowned. It's what people do. They go, well, what happened last time? And last time it's completely different. I mean, we were on rations. We were coming out of post-war austerity. It, there was a sort of sense of absolute national rejuvenation. Um, and we had a 27-year-old queen coming to the throne. So it was just a very, it was a completely different Times situation. Times are a bit tougher. Times are just different. I mean, you know, you've got to be in your 80s to remember the last coronation. Um, I, I think, actually, it, it follows in the great traditions of all royal events I've been covering now for 25, uh, 30 years nearly, which is that in the run-up to every big event, that is always the, oh, no one cares. No one cares. It's all going to go flat. I remember in the run-up to the queen's, uh, Golden Jubilee yeah, yeah, in 2002. Yeah. Yeah. Remember a very prominent story in the Times newspaper saying um, uh, no one's interested, no street parties have been booked and it's all going to be a bit flat. Yeah. Um, and we had the same in the run-up to the Diamond Jubilee, we had the same in the run-up to the Platinum Jubilee. And, yeah, and even, by the way, in the run-up to the Queen Mother's funeral and Prince Philip's yeah, funeral, and the British yes. public proved everyone wrong. Well, you also, you have this, this the, in, 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 oh, whatever the big royal event is, there are always the glitches as well. I mean, I, I very well remember when uh, when, when the now king was marrying the then Camilla Parker Bowles in, in 2005 at Windsor. And in the run-up to that, there was a problem with the licensing arrangements, which meant it had to be transferred mm. to Windsor Town Hall. And then, just as it was all about to happen, the Pope died. No. And it all had to Delayed. be delayed. And everyone went, oh, no, oh, no, this is all, you know, whoa, yeah. it's, all, it's all disaster. Um, we had the same in the run-up to the wedding of uh, William and Kate. There was a huge row about, oh, my God, they forgot to invite mm. Tony Blair and Gordon Brown. Um, in the run-up to, obviously, uh, Harry and Meghan's wedding, there was uh, the, her father they're not turning up. Mm. So you get these uh, events that, 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 that come up in, in, in the run-up to these mm. big things, and everyone says, oh, these are terrible. And then the day happens, mm. and every single time the event just sails on because it's so much bigger than the little stories that came before it. So, yeah, sure, I mean, there might be a handful of Republicans um, uh, shouting somewhere along the route, and um, there'll be uh, a minority of about 0.1%. Mm. Uh, you know, and they'll the, be shouted down by oh, the monarchists. Yes, the I, I, I suspect... Probably um, dragged away well, by I, the monarchists in the you crowd. Know, they've said they, they're going to be bringing along megaphones. Well, they're going to need to bring along mm. megaphones. But, um, you know, I, I, you know, this sort of thing. It's a free society. It's a democracy. Yeah. This is what happens. Uh, yes, of course, it's a smaller service. It's a smaller service in the Abbey because you can't put 8,000 people in the Abbey like you could in 1953 because back then you could do what you like. And they just built essentially a football stadium inside a Norman cathedral, uh, and they've just racked it up to the rafters with seating. You can't do that now. It'd be illegal. I mean, the, the, the fire regulations wouldn't allow it. But uh, aside from all that, um, you know, it, it, we're not living in that era. I mean, in that, in that era, you had nearly a thousand hereditary peers yeah. in the best seats to pay homage. That's not going to happen this time. 
How significant uh, is the fact that the king clearly wants his wife, Camilla, to have a central role uh, in this coronation? Something that for a long time uh, wouldn't have felt possible. Obviously, Camilla has really turned things around. Very significant uh, that her closest friends, her equivalent of her lady-in-waiting, mm-hmm. was clearly given the nod uh, to speak out to the Sunday Times. There was thinly veiled criticism of Harry and Meghan, but they also spoke about Camilla, the woman. Uh, Do you think it's right for Charles to make Camilla such a part of his coronation story? She's she's, she's the the queen. And we think we we think we should call her that, not the queen. In in due course, she'll be called, uh, she she can now, she she can be called the queen, she can be called Queen Camilla. Uh, I mean, one of the reasons that uh, I think that the, to begin with, um, there was uh, the, particularly in official sort of documents and stuff, they, they refer to her as the mm. Queen Consul, is just to avoid that confusion with the late Queen. We had the same, I mean, again, if you look back at 1952, when George VI died, all of a sudden you had two Queen Elizabeths mm. because you had one on the throne, yeah. Queen Regnan, and you had the, the, the wife of the late King, which at that point yeah. she was made Queen Mother. But and on she a said she didn't like level, that. Right, I'm yeah. struggling with it. And do you understand this? Because I understand officially we can say Queen Camilla, but when I refer to the Queen at the moment, of course I'm talking about the late Queen, mm. and that is going to take some getting used everything, to. Everything, everything takes time to adjust, but I, it's absolutely as night follows day. When a king becomes king, his wife yeah. becomes queen. But she's finding why her should voice, she, isn't Why she? should we be turning? Why should we be tearing up a thousand years of, of, mm. of established yeah. precedent and history? Every wife of every king has yeah. been queen. Well, I, and she should be because she's brilliant. Well, I guess the only counter argument, and I'm on the fence on this one. I'm going to be honest with you: is that we were told, we were promised uh, that she was not even going to be queen consort; she was going to be princess consort. Then we were told and assured she's only be only going to be mm. queen consort. But look, I, I, I understand. I do understand. I just think it's going to take a bit of getting used to. I think. I mean, everything uh, after seventy years of mm. the longest reign in history, the longest serving, longest reigning monarch in history. Of course, things are going to take time. Yeah. I mean, it was. It felt very odd the first few times we all sang. God save the king. Yeah. I thought one of the, a, a, a real turning point actually was on Christmas Day, 3 p.m., and it just came up that strap line, HM the king. Mm. You thought, it's Christmas Day. Every Christmas I've been alive. Yeah, this yeah, has, yeah. It's been her. So, of course, it's going to take time. But, you know, you look at how, how uh, Camilla, Queen Consort, whatever you want to call her, uh, you know, she, she's absolutely central to all this. She's, she's, mm. she's, she's, uh, she's such a key okay. part of it. Uh, finally, uh, talk of historic reparations uh, to a quiche with no ham but broad (laughs) beans. Is King Charles woke? (laughs) King Charles has got to be all things to all people, which is what all monarchs have to be. Um, You know, some people are going to say he's woke. Some would say he's a sort of throwback to a bygone era. If you listen to the Republicans, they say it's all over. Uh, If you say, yeah, I mean, people say, why why are we eating quiche? You know, why have we got some sort of vegetarian royal dish? With broad beans. No, thank you. (laughs) No, thank you. But the fact is, this, this, I think this just goes to the heart of what our monarchy is. It's, it, you know, it it represents all things to all people and they, they like to have a sort of row about it. But ultimately, you know, if you look at the, 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 the central stats, what is the system most people yeah, yeah. are happy with? I mean, yes. it's way out in front. It's far more popular totally. than anything else. And you know what? I agree with you. We're going to turn up that weekend. I think, yes, it's yeah, had a yeah. slow start Always in terms does. of the hype, but we will be there in our droves. There's going to be coronation fever. I think it's just going to come a little bit later than maybe what yep. people thought. Yeah, yeah.